Hi folks, welcome back to the Carver's Wood Shop. I know it's been a few days. I've been working on a few different things. Before I start this pineapple thing here and show you about that, I want to tell you about a new thing that I started um, a couple of um, a couple of days ago. Uh, on Facebook, and I'm going to put this in front so you have an idea. Um, on Facebook, I have a new account which is called Arlene at Carver's Wood Shop. Okay? That's the name that you need to put into the search if you want to join Facebook uh, with us. Um, I have about 15 people since I posted it, I think, yesterday. And what it's meant to do is if you have carvings like this and you have a picture of it, uh, which I have on that Facebook um, um, account, it's really meant for other carvers. And, and if you join and ask for a friend request, that we can um, see each other's carvings and you can comment on them and it's, uh, it might be a very easy way to do it but in order for you to see the carvings you have to go to this particular wall to see it if anybody posts anything and you can comment on that uh, so far I have about 15 people that joined since yesterday and um, the reason for it is because I want people to be encouraged by looking at other people that have have finished work. It's a place where you can load your photos and um, on my blog I couldn't do it uh, where you could just add your photos to my blog. So I figured a Facebook account would do well. So those are the only three websites I'll have is the YouTube channel that you're watching now, my blog which gives uh, upcoming projects and things coming up in the future and some tips on wood carving and now the Facebook. Um, all of that takes time folks and that's what I was working on the last couple of days trying to figure out a way that you could post your photos and let other people see. Um, I think it's an encouragement to others when you see finished work. You know you're always going to find somebody that's going to be able to do something you can't and you know I study the pieces quite often when I see pictures I'll look how they do that face or that part of the project or uh, you know if, if uh, the detail in it and things and you always can learn something from it so uh, even as a seasoned carver or a new carver you can always learn something from somebody else's carving and it's also a great way to get some new ideas or a new perspective on something new to carve uh, sometimes I get carver's block which I don't know what to work on next but again if you're interested again on and going to that that's what you need to go to okay and that's the search I will also put a link on the right hand corner um, of this video uh, highlighted that you can click right to the Facebook page and add yourself to it if, if you're one of these people that are on Facebook um, you know and it's a it's a new avenue okay and it's really meant for those people that can't get to a wood carving show and stuff, stuff like that I got this idea from just going to a normal uh, craft store um, you know a, a country craft store and I saw this pineapple and I thought oh I'm gonna give it a try um, so I did a very small one uh, in the round this one's um, about sixty percent smaller than the original and what you want to do is um, uh, get a two inch by two inch block and you want to put the pattern on. I have the pattern available if you're interested in it. It's a, it's a buck and a half for that and just email me um, and we'll send that off to you by email. You can also do this project just real quick um, in an ornament of the original size even or in the smaller size but the original size I think would be nice too and I might end up doing one of these it's um it's about a quarter of an inch and I can do the same pattern on here as when I did on the pineapple itself uh, just to let you know it's important that you wear your glove folks because there's a lot of slicing involved with it making the lines I did not use a v-tool you can use a v-tool if you'd like um, on the top I did use a little one of my little gouges um, well actually no I didn't use all of the gouges but I did use a small one uh, just to get in there a little bit um, and, and cut it out um, it's it's leafy and it's <laughs> it's an interesting little piece to do it doesn't look like it's complicated but it can be because these lines aren't even and I wasn't gonna spend hours trying to figure out exactly 
the the width and everything on that. So if you're interested in doing it, this will be a kind of a fun project to do. It might take a little effort on your part. Uh, is it a beginner's project? You can make it a beginner's project. When we get into the intricate portions of it, you can uh, not do as many. You can leave it a uh, bigger diamonds. You can really do whatever you want with it. I would made it a little bit smaller so it looked a little nicer. Um, and then I just painted it up with some some yellow and uh, green and red, uh, a little bit mixed of each. So let's start on this. Uh, I know we've only got a couple of minutes, but what you want to do uh, is take your center line. Um, well, you want to cut out both both views, okay? Oh, and this will be available if you want the cutouts or this. They'll be listed on the uh, left-hand side of the uh, page. I have all my cutouts listed on, and a price for them. I think this is four fifty, and these will be about um, two and a half or three dollars for for the small ones. Okay, so if you're interested, I know a couple people have ordered the cutouts just to tell you on the onset what what it will cost for you to get it. Okay, so now um, what you want to do is you want to take your pencil and you want to draw a center line. Um, on the top and also on the bottom portion. Okay, um, ignore that. <laughs> and and uh, you want to do all four sides. Okay, and when we come back on the next clip, we're actually going to start rounding off the top, um, and and we'll start there. Okay, we'll be right back. <laughs> 